Goodwill Trolley um, brings a historical aspect that the city remembers and it's fun for tourists but it's really a multimodal approach. We have the steel wheel trolley, we have the rubber tire trolley that will connect other um, community features and allow people to go from one mode to the next. We have the uh, buses that run around town and on those some are equipped with bicycle racks on the front. So it's really enhancing transit to a whole other level for the whole city of Galveston. The city's done a great job implementing uh, the, uh, uh, the contracts and getting the, the right contractor uh, uh, hired out uh, to do the restoration work. As a whole system, yes, I do envision people using the system, but that's part of the, of the whole marketing of the concept, getting people to not only view the trolley as a ride, but use it as a, uh, as a transportation means around the island. The trolley adds the flavor of the historic nature of our island. Um, it's a great way to connect uh, seawall with downtown businesses. Um, in reality, I could catch the trolley in front of my house on 25th Street and take it to work each day. Um, it's also going to connect UTMB with downtown and seawall as well. Jamaica's been restoring um, trolley cars for probably close to 35, 40 years. Gomeco is located in Ida Grove, Iowa. Well, we like restoring trolleys. Um, there's a lot of woodworking we do in cars. Um, we make the seats out of cherry wood, and white oak, and they're flip over seats. This is really exciting. Um, just watching this whole operation, how they're actually gonna get this thing to Iowa and get the process going. Uh, they say once it gets there, it's gonna be one year before we get the first trolley back. So this is a great beginning. Uh, just the sound of the whistle and the sound of the trolley moving along the track. That's uh, probably the best. And the happy faces uh, going down 25th Street, uh, hanging out of the, uh, the trolley cars and, and waving at people.